Good morning, guys. Yeah, it's not time, but it's uh, coming up to 20 past 2 in the morning. Just gone 20 past 2 in the morning. Um, I've been a busy bumblebee this afternoon because uh, I had my stuff delivered. As you can see, I've got the server there, which is flashing a light at me. Um, I've had a friend over as well. And uh, we've been playing around, got an electric guitar. Doesn't look very nice, but if I really wanted to, I could surface it and clean it up and put a replacement string on it and learn to play the guitar. <laughs> anyway. This hall, this time, comprises of one server, it's an HP 9000 server of some sort, I'm not exactly what yet. Uh, but it doesn't appear to be working. There's lights on but not a lot else is happening at the minute. Um, I've got key four keyboards. There's another um, internet switch, which I haven't tested yet. Um, there's a couple of video cards, actually one of which is over here. I might as well just show you that one before we disappeared to the kitchen for a couple of minutes. So got HDMI and DVI, MSI written on the heatsink. Um according to my friend when he read it, that's I think he said it's an ATI. I think. But I can't see where it says that on here, but that's what he said. He knows more about them than I do. So uh, I'll take his word for it. <laughs> um, there was another video card, which is what I'm now about to show you. Turn the light on. Um, that PC came with it, and it does turn on and power up. But there's no hard drive. It did come with memory, for a change. But um, instead of a hard drive, this zip drive is actually connected to the... Um, Hard drives, IDE, socket, header, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I've got this big ass video card with it. It's a ATI Radeon HD 4870, I think. Uh, just bear with me just for a second. had to run back to his just to get an adapter because I only had the one power connector for this. 4870 was right. Um, it does work but it felt like that was getting a little bit too hot considering it was just idling. But uh, aside from that it does work. We installed the drivers for it. We downloaded them from online. And uh, yeah, it does seem to work. So I don't understand why they threw it out unless it was getting too hot. I don't know. But it works. I can't put it into my main PC because it won't fit. Because the SATA connections on my motherboard are in the wrong place. Well, I don't think it's the fact that they're in the wrong place. It's this cover that covers the heat sinks on this is um, getting in the Y. If it didn't have this, it would fit in my PC, which is a shame, because I'd prefer to use that one, really. But um, I've got another build I can throw that into, anyway. Uh, my brother's PC needs one. And I actually had a look in his PC earlier, because I was looking for a computer that had two of... Where is it? I can't remember what they're called now. My friend did say it. Two of these. But uh, none of the PCs I have, apart from my main PC, has two. And none of, none of the spare PSUs I have have two either. Because, uh, as you can see, it requires two. Um, and obviously I couldn't put it in my main PC because it wouldn't fit. 
So uh, he ran back to his and found this adapter up for me, which I can keep. Um, because he doesn't need it. He's got a better one. I don't really care, you know. It works for me, so... Um, I did have to drop the hard drive down in this. That's why it's down there. Um, but while I was looking at my brother's PC, I noticed that I have actually put a hard drive in it. So, all I need to get for his machine is some memory. And then I can install, I don't know, Windows 7 or whatever he wants on it, and I can get my laptop. <laughs> um, I did have to unplug the front audio and USBs on this PC, because the USB headers are right there. And I thought they might get in the way. And we were only testing the video cards, so we didn't need any of that connected anyway, so I just unplugged them. So I had more room, because, uh, well, you see what my cable management is like. It's non-existent. <laughs> I don't have cable management. Anyway, I'm going to have to go to bed soon because I'm getting tired. There's my server. It's sitting there blinking that light at me. Power supplies are work well, as far as I know, working. I mean, it's sending power to this um, circuit board there, which me and my friend found out is a fan controller board. Because it's got fan lights on it. Uh, in fact, one of them is flashing orange, and I don't know what that means. One's green. I don't know if that means that there's a failed fan somewhere. Um, he's also found out for me that those memory cards on there are 512 megabytes each, which means this has 6 gigabytes of memory total. I forgot to ask him if that was DDR or um, SD. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. I have stuck all the hard drive and everything back in, so it is back together more or less, apart from some side covers. I don't know, do I need to put side covers on? I don't think there's any like little buttons that will stop it from working. I have three power cords. One one of those power cords power each of the PSUs up the top there. I don't know why this machine needs three. I don't know if it's designed so it runs other objects got four processors all built in and um, I've also found out that these are support modules for these processors. I don't know what they do. This is all new to me. Um, but as you can see, if you come around this side, because there was a cover in here and I've taken it out, there's, um, if I can get myself out of the light, there's four blanks for processor pads. Put four more in. So there's still room for upgrading on this if it worked. And there's also two extra sockets in there for um, support modules. Um, I don't know, I'm guessing this may have stopped working, which is why they've uh, probably skipped it. Well, if anything, I've got something that flashes pretty lights at me <laughs> for a tenner, so I can't complain for a tenner, can I? Not really. It's something to play with. If I could figure it, you know, if I could figure out how to get it to work, or even to get it to work, then that's a bonus. And there's them LEDs down there. That's, an, we think, an LED for each of the fans that are fitted to the machine. But, uh... I don't know. Is it because there's fans missing? That it's not going to turn on? I don't know. I don't know anything about these these um, servers. All I do know is it's big and bloody heavy. Because, uh... 
these are heavy alone. And uh, apparently you've got to turn them off with this little switch here before you um, pull them out. So here's a little switch here, so I can just go... How can I take it the right way? That might help. See? It's one turned off. Two. So I suppose the idea is you turn them off and then you can hot swap them. Ah. Well that's weird. I've turned these off. I've still got Mr. Green Light flashing at me. I thought I heard a click when I flicked that switch. Yeah, so I think that's what you've got to do with these. And then, of course, you click it back into place, like so. And make sure it is clicked into place, nice and tight. You never know, that might be the problem. It may not be in there tight enough. There we go. And you just flick your little switch back on. So, I don't know if anything else can be hot swapped. Is that there's something ticking somewhere? I thought it was the power supply, which I'm pretty certain it is. This one seems to be the worst. Yeah. Oh well. See, so there's no lights for disc A or disc B on there. There's no fault light. So I don't know, is there something I haven't connected properly? I would like to, uh, going back to the power supplies, I would like to um, pull one of these apart, but they're sealed units, so that would probably mean breaking one apart, unfortunately. So, I'm not sure. I don't really want to break one, because I'd rather keep it in one piece. certain there's no other switches. I mean, there's a... That's the power light that's flashing. And then there's the power symbol there next to this big ass switch, and it just doesn't make any difference no matter which way I flick it. Hmm. Very strange. But uh, I think I'm going to shut it off for the night. I'll have a play with my toy in the morning. Yeah, I don't understand why this has got to have three of these. Unless it's... Clicking is getting worse, I'm sure it is. Yep, that one's now stopped. The clicking's got less. It's not as bad. I don't know. 
It could be forty pounds. It could be anything. That's cool, isn't it? it? could be forty power supplies for a line, huh? answers on a postcard. What shall I do with it? Shall I set it up as an ornament? Go and stand, you know, stand it up on end or something? Well actually it's meant to sit like this in the server rack. That's how it's meant to go in, but not take up too much floor space like this. thinking about the um, earth terminal on the back, but that's probably just for anti-static protection. I'm just done plugging things and plugging them in and seeing if it does anything. Um, it's only got the one controller board for the fans. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to pull these off and just have a look. But uh, for now, I'll just switch it off at the wall. Click, it's got some loud relays in it. I'll have to have a better look in there. Uh, daylight, I think. yet what to do with that I can't play guitar anyway there's lots of knobs and switches and things on this I don't know what to do with it video. I really want much computer wise, apart from the big ass server, to uh, show this time. There's uh, um, it's just that PC in the kitchen, a couple of video cards, uh, another dial up modem somewhere. If I had any sense I've probably thrown it in the bin. <laughs> I've got loads of them. 
<laughs> don't need any more dial up modems. There's one sitting on the computer as well. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the server yet. Investigate it a bit more, I think. Got a weird pair of scissors over there. It's like six pairs of scissors all in one. Um, got a stupid little mouse down there. That it installed on the PC. The um, buttons seem to work, but the um, optical part of it did. It's a really weird little thing. I've never seen a mouse device like this. Look at it sort of straps around your finger. But, uh, I couldn't get it to work. Oh, I don't know what that was. There's a, yeah, your, um, left right button there and your scroll wheel. And I think the idea is, uh, for um, right-handed people, so um, I think. Well, I don't think it would work left-handed. Put it on. That's what I think, anyway. And then you can just use your thumb to operate the buttons. I don't know. Or does it go around something else? <laughs> Your thumb, maybe, I don't know. Huh? Hello? I don't know, but it didn't seem to work correctly. Well, I've got a feeling that guitar was black at one point and someone's painted it silver. You know, just get that feeling looking at the base. <laughs> oh, there's the other hard drive rack for that this server, because it can only take two hard drives. Although, I, from what I read online, it can have external storage. I have no idea how you connect external storage to it. <laughs> Not a clue. And there's a cover for the hard drive as well down there. Right there. Underneath the hard drive kit. Um, oh, and there's a couple of uh, laptop adapters. Nothing really spectacular this time. Well, apart from that big machine. Um, a bit overkill for what I wanted a server for, <laughs> ever so slightly. Um, but my friends think it was probably used as an internet server, probably like in a big um, office block or something. Which would make sense, as I was told this switch came with it. Um, and the lack of hard drives in it would also indicate that it was prob probably used for um, connecting an office to the internet. Because there's not a lot in it. We think it's a 320 gigabyte hard drive. We're not sure. You know, we said from the age it's not going to be... Um, spectacularly big, which is obvious. <laughs> so, what did I say it was 2003? I do apologise for the squeaky chair. Um, there was another mouse that came with it, but that doesn't work. It was just dead. <laughs> when I plugged it in, there was nothing. 
So I assume that's just died. Died and uh, gone to him. It's just now it's a plug, dumbass. <laughs> just wondering what that was in me bag. Hmm. Have, I'm going to have a look at a few parts of this closer, the server that is. Uh, I've still got to uh, get the internet connected to, connected to my little computer station up the corner. Oh, my main XP is there. Well, I forgot to mention before I go. Got this as well. If I can get hold of it, <laughs> I'll just come back into the light. It's a hard drive enclosure. Well, I've got itchy ear roll and only one, and no free hands. It's um one that you would buy with the hard drive all in it because it's got a 500 gigabyte in there, so it is an external hard drive, um, meant to be. Um, no hard drive came with it. Someone's actually peeled the um, void sticker off to remove the hard drive. But um, I have tested it using a um, universal adapter and an SATA hard drive, because it is SATA in this. And it does work. So, all I need is to find my 320 gigabyte hard drive, which I've got kicking around somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> there is one up on this table there, but it doesn't work. That also came with this um, small lot. But, uh... Oh, and them two hard drives are knackered as well. Um, this is the one out of my old netbook that died, and I was right, this is a faulty hard drive. Uh, it won't read properly, and it won't format, and it won't do lots of things. So, it's knackered. My boys woke up. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty certain I haven't forgotten anything now. No, actually, I'm gonna, I was going to... There. I was about to push this desk back up against the wall, but I thought if I do that, I'm going to forget to put the power lead back in the back... back into the back of the computer. Or back into the rear of the computer. So, if I leave it as it is, I'll remember. In theory. <laughs> oh. But, in the meantime, I am tired. than the apple. That might not be. Either that or I'm just scared to play with apples because I've never really done anything with them. You know, the iMac sit in the kitchen looking pretty and don't do anything with that. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to sleep well. Oh, yeah, and I've got this little thing as well. Um, my... Okay, each 
is all over the place at the minute. My friend said it might be some sort of receiver for something. Uh, I'm going to plug it into my computer tomorrow and see if it installs and does anything. See what it is, because I haven't got the full gist. I'm not too fussed about it, you know. It's probably something I can't use or have no use for. Me in the window. That probably does work. Like the other one. Pretty certain the other one I got is an IBM. I was trying to remember earlier. Audio's working back on that because I played Pokemon on the VCR. Uh, this is a bit of background noise, really, when I had my friend over. And the speakers sprung back into life, but I'm still not getting the power LED coming on. on. I'm using the right adapter, aren't I? Oh, batteries are charged, don't know. I think I worked it out to be five volts, so it should work. Are you ready? And dark. Right above my head when I can find it is a LED. It's not even coming up on camera, it's too dark. Oh, just make out a few things down there. Oh, it's flickering for some reason. It's my little emergency light. Because on the odd occasion, we do get a power cut. One in here as well. There you go, you can see that one. It's actually quite bright. Got them from my local Lidl, so I've got a pack of... No, I won't a pack of, I think I bought four of them. Yeah, because I've got one in here and three in the lounge. I've got one above the sofa, underneath that shelf. One on the shelf, just the other side of this door. And one on the... Um, Well, as you can see on camera, they're pretty good. For something that's only got three LEDs in. And you just, beep, just little push lights. With them, a little sort of sticky back pad on them. <sighs> this is what I've got to clear off. on for a bit of background noise. No. Still something sharp. Whew. Coat hanger. Oh, sugar. Coat. I was just wondering why I heard a chicken on the TV. Just to clear the bed. That. What's this? Universal that came with the brand new bike I was given. Quick assembly guard. No, I don't need a quick assembly guard. I know how to assemble a bloody bike. Box. I can't bang around too much because uh, my neighbour's bedroom is right below me. 
No, I certainly wouldn't want people banging around above my bedroom, so I'm not going to do it to him. So I basically throw everything in one pile because it won't lump on the floor. <laughs> I am really friendly. No oh idea what's on the TV. I just turned the power button on. Uh, it's on ITV2, I think. But uh, I don't really watch TV. Sitting there just for two seconds. Ooh. a good view of the ceiling just then, didn't you? Typically the camera did it just as I'd uh, turned around to pick it up again. That's the processor out of my old little netbook. That's, um, oh, no it isn't. That's off of motherboard I scrapped. Turn the fan on. It does get a bit warmer now. Oof, my cone's wearing a t shirt. I still haven't dragged that downstairs yet. I would like to get that running as well. When I, mean, I could turn them into normal PCs. But like I said, I would like one as a data server. If I made a data server, I could literally put all the DVDs I've got onto that. And then probably have the hard drive fail and I lose it all. <laughs> that would just be my luck, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. You see, I've got one bulb out on that end. And it is annoying me. Stupid things like that does. Uh, Get on my week until I can replace it, but I don't have any spare bulbs and I don't have the cash to go and get any now, so I've still got two. I think I can live with it until uh, I next get paid. Oh, I'm going to take that off the quilt, otherwise I'll clunk down the side of the bed. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know why I was just looking up at the computers. But, uh, that one next to the Dell, with the big white fan in, that's my little brother's. Uh, it's been sitting up there for months actually, just collecting dust, and he wants to get it done now. But all I need is memory. And I don't have DDR3 memory. If he wanted to settle for a DDR2 motherboard, I could do it tomorrow. Because I've got loads of those. I've got DDR2 memory I can put in there. I could probably put up to 6 gigabytes in, actually, because uh, I know kicking around in there I've got a 4 gig stick somewhere. <laughs> somewhere in there. Uh, well, actually, I could actually max it out to 8 gigs because I've got plenty of 2 gig sticks. Uh, if it would work. Not sure it would work at night. Who knows? Anyway, but uh, he wants to keep the board that's in there. So as soon as I've got the spare cash, I've got to go and get the uh, memory. But before I do that, I've got to clear my eBay fees and whatnot, because uh, obviously I can't buy anything on eBay without. Well, while I'm in debt with eBay, so I've got to clear that. Uh, 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 uh. What the hell was I about to say? You know, I can't remember. 
Um, I don't even know if that motherboard worked in there. Actually, I've never tested it because I've never had the um, RAM. I can't be bothered to borrow one out of my machine. I want to upgrade my machine actually to eight gigabytes. I want to max it out. Well, that probably doesn't sound like a lot to a lot of people out there, but eight gigabytes is more than enough for me. Sorry for the pause. <laughs> Nemo! <laughs> Nemo! Nemo! <laughs> no. <laughs> I doubt we're doing a car boot in the morning. Anyway, that's... I don't know why I said that, that's completely not computer related. <laughs> Anyway, I think I'm going to turn the camera off and hit the sack and get some sleep before I fall asleep talking to the camera. So, uh, thank you for watching this sleepy vid. Say good night, Nemo. Say good night. That's it. Muzzle the camera. So, thanks for watching and, uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.